So I remember they said we could do something with the lights, right? Let's walk into this lantern. Ha! Ah, yes, I can light it. Don't forget to interact with everything, though. There are many such sculptures in the depths of the gold mine. The material of the sculpture is the same as the obelisks. Wait, so it's like the indestructible stuff, right? Both are made from the ancient civilization's super strong material. After the workers excavated these sculptures, did they just put them here? Because the number of these sculptures is really large, they don't have any value as works of art. But this material of the sculptures is both really light and strong. Can we, like, make a sword out of it? So many of the sculptures were taken to build the city wall with them. That sounds pretty precious. Allegedly, the people of the ancient civilization looked just like this back then. Wait, isn't that like a human? Look at that head! And he's got like a human hand, kind of. That's a human, isn't it? This confirms it. The people of the ancient civilization were humans, right? That looks like a human to me. Their appearance is completely different from us furry ones! There you go. Their ears are so small, and they have so little body hair. They look so strange. Pro posies, I guessed it right. The ancient civilization was the human civilization. I knew it. They look like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Pretty much. I always think their lack of tails is their own loss. I mean, I won't argue with you there. I'd love a scaly tail. I concur. Why do they disappear, having created a prosperous civilization? This only they themselves would know, right? What if it was the beast? What if the beast destroyed their civilization and now it threatens to de destroy ours? Either that or, you know, it was the virus from change. That could be it, too. This is a sculpture of the ancient civilization's architecture. But to this day, no such remains of the ancient civilization have been discovered. What is the building on the sculpture, actually? When it comes to tower-like buildings of the ancient civilization, isn't there one in the north? The Tower of Origin, right? Yeah, we saw it on the map, the Tower of Origin. The Tower of Origin, yeah, there are still monsters wandering around that tower today. And those goo cre- GOO CREATURES! WAIT! WAIT! THE TOWER OF ORIGIN IS THE LAB! It's the Dr. K facility! It's the lab! It has to be! That's the Tower of Origin! Goo creatures! He literally just said goo creatures! The Tower of Origin! That's where the goos came from! That's why it's called the Tower of Origin! Yes, it's a changed reference! This game is referencing changed! Can we see Poro then? Yeah, where's Poro? I don't know. It's been a long time. Poro might not be alive anymore. It's, it's, I think it's been a long time since then. But yes, the Tower of Origin has to be related to the Changed Lab. And the goo creatures aren't that scary. Compared to the monsters, they are simply angels. I'm not going to get gooed by Poro. No goo. Sup, big guy. <laughs> Wah! You're gonna blow up my ears! <laughs> the sound seems especially loud in the narrow cave. Yeah, it did sound louder. Now he's being softer. I spent a lot of energy to haul you in here just now. Such a narrow cave can't accommodate someone as big as you. Oh, a tree can't fit in here. Don't worry, he's a big guy. He'll make it fit. The Thunder Science Facility? Is that what it's called? The Changed Lab? Okay. This statue seems out of place with the others. This appears to be a control device of the ancient civilization's people. They say- yeah, it's some kind of controller. Like a d-pad on each side. They say people of the ancient civilization could use this thing to control awesome other people to have thrilling adventures. Control awesome other people? If you just have this, no matter what kind of life, you could experience it all. Is it like VR or something? If you ask me, I wouldn't want to be controlled. Let's light up the room. Oh, the hearts are lit up. Phew. Nice and bright. So reassuring. Yeah, that does look pretty nice. We got some good lighting now. It looks like a joystick from PlayStation. It looks like a PlayStation controller. Yeah, it kind of does. Maybe that. Maybe that's all it was. Maybe it's just a video game controller. Oh, I see it now. I didn't. I didn't see like these little grip parts here. Yeah, it does. It does basically look like a PlayStation controller, doesn't it? This is. This isn't a D-pad. It's a joy. Wait, no. These are joysticks. Never mind. Yeah, no. These are the joysticks. This is a D-pad, and I know this looks exactly the same, but think of this as, like, your X, square, circle, and triangle. That's what this is. And then, yeah, the handle's here. Okay, I, w I was thinking this was a face. I thought this was a face, that there were, like, two D-pads next to it. I was like, what am I looking at here? I was confused. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! And these are fingers, right? This is, like, a whole hand holding the controller. You're right. All right, before we leave, let's inspect carefully. This is a sculpture of sea waves, hmm? Aye, can you swim? I can barely wolfy paddle. What is Wolfie paddling? Essentially scratching at the water. Does that way count as swimming? 
As long as I swallow enough water. Ugh. So I can't swim very well. I can float back up. Please be sure not to do that again. <laughs> what animal is this? Uh, his face is so long. A creature of the ancient civilization. Hmm, so it's a horse. Horses don't exist anymore, apparently. This kind of animal seems to have been a means of transportation in the past. Did the people of the ancient civilization not have trains? Perhaps this kind of animal ran even faster. <laughs> I don't know about that. Those things at the top look like the Deltarune symbol. Yeah, they kind of do. The hearts, right? Anyways, let's move on. Ie, what is the forest giant going to do? Oh, he can't fit, can he? Come on, big guy. Make it fit. Can only let it slowly squeeze through to here on its own. We cannot sit here and wait for it, can we? Let's proactively clear out all the enemies ahead. Okay, Ie, you're the boss. Wow, I'm glad... Whoa, it's kind of loud. Watch your feet. This lichen is unusually slippery. Ie, look carefully. There are strange crystal spikes hidden in the lichen. Oh, snap. I see them, yeah. In the middle. The blue spikes. I won't step on them. But the path ahead seems to be blocked off. I remember that this type of crystal can react to light. If there was light... Ah, so we light the lanterns and then something will happen with these. Let's go give lighting the lamp up there a shot. Part of me is curious, Chad. Do you think these might be transfer crystals? No. <gasps> Poor Coco. I'm sorry, Coco. I just see that. <laughs> it's like, you derp. I told you not to walk into them. <sighs> I thought they'd be like the crystals and change to turn you into a dragon, but they're not. <laughs> Alright, light this. Before we light the other one, let's take a good look around. I'm a bit nervous. I think something's gonna happen. Mine the crystal spikes. People did mine the crystal spikes naturally. Don't need warning. And the people who do need the warning didn't see the sign and just got stabbed by the crystal spikes. Self-contradictory. Oof. Are they basically saying the sign is useless? Because by the time you see it, you would have either already stepped on it or not. I don't know. Wait! I stepped on it already. The crystal spikes started floating. Is this just the power of light? I don't like this kind of crystal that cannot be explained by science. I don't like this kind of trap designed by nature either. But at least now these crystals won't stab us anymore. Wait, that's it? So it's safe to move? I thought they were gonna attack me. Seems like we're fine though. We actually just need to move this way and then we can pass. But this skeleton looks very unsafe. It feels like it's gonna stand up at any moment now. Best not to get too close to it, right, Ie? Oh! When you light up the room, you can walk here and the crystals don't hurt you anymore. That's pretty cool. The dance, the music, it is pretty catchy, isn't it? The last time we saw skeletons animate, it was with the mushrooms. Oh! One of those thing things! The catapult's device spare counter is full, then I'll put this extra one aside. The force of the catapult device is huge. So after completing one launch, you then have to replace damaged parts. That wooden sign can always show how many chances I have left. Don't you think this is really unbelievable? Uh... I don't understand. You mean how it says skip and there's five notches there? Did that update when I got the fifth thing? What is in the middle? Oh, this! Oh, it's just a rock. <laughs> oh, he made it here, finally. Please keep up with us. <laughs> oh, geez, they do come back to life. Ie, there are enemies ahead. It's skeletons again. Leave it to me. Their numbers are quite big, but it seems they aren't very smart. Go, Ie. Okay. They drop in one hit. This is the first time watching Ie from such a close distance. His heroic stance is really elegant. You're staring at me is gonna make me nervous. I will close my eyes at once. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't mean it like that. Hmm, I got a little bit of a problem though. How do I deal with you? Now I'm out of sync. I feel like I can hit these crystals that are above me. Coco, are you gonna be okay? Wait, I'm about to die. Oh no. Huh. Okay, let's try the, 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 um, hmm. Am I blind? Like, is the solution obvious and I just don't see it? Oh, there we go. That's the trick. Got him. This is, okay, yeah, we already got this dialogue. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah, you just had to kind of abuse the diagonal movement to line them up. Aye, can I open my eyes now? Silly Coco. <laughs> Yes, you can open your eyes, you derp. So I wonder what's the deal with this place. Why are there animated skeletons? Oh. <gasps> that brought enemies to life! I.e. the broken bones stood up! 
Turning on the light wakes them up. As expected. Uh, I didn't expect that. What should we do here? Maybe we should keep the lights off for now. Yeah. Oh, that's what those crystal piles are. The cave path is being blocked off by this thing. This is a pile of broken bones and crystal shards. Hmm? When things went wrong at the capital, there must still have been many miners in here who didn't escape. Will these broken crystals react to light? Just, I guess we'll begin. I'm in sync for this one. Okay, it dies in one hit. Good. Hmm. I'd pull this light. Yeah, 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 yeah. We technically don't need to kill them. We could just leave. But that's not how I like to play. We are going to annihilate them. Ah, they both start on black tiles. So it doesn't change how synced you are. Maybe we shouldn't be trying so hard to annihilate them. I think I'm dead here. No, I'm not. I'm not dead. Nice, nice. I think I got him here. Yes. Wait, Coco can stop them? Dude, look at this. Do you see this? It can't get past Coco. That's actually a problem, though. Coco, you're preventing me from finishing this guy off. I needed him to actually move. Coco is unstoppable. They can't, they can't hit Coco. I guess he's using the backpack as a giant shield. Yeah, Coco shield. Coco really said stop. That was actually a bad thing in that case, though. So. We're a little out of position here, dude. Hmm. How do I hit this last one? Oh! I done goofed. I done goofed. I super done goofed. I super done goofed. Oh no, dude. No! I was thinking, oh, we'll just turn it off at the other side. But it's like, that's not... No. No, Draggy, you do, that's not what happens. <laughs> I just double turned it on. I can't even activate the light anymore. Yeah. I don't think that was the answer, Darkon. Don't hurt him! Wait, what's happening? Wait, what does that mean? I.e., everything... Do you have a chance to pull out your gun? I.e., everything okay? Almost got beaten down. Thank you for the effort to save me. As long as you're fine. Wait, how did you do that? Is that like a chance? Uh-oh. Wait, or is it if I walk into where you were? No. How did you do that? Is that a percentage chance? I think it's RNG, dude. Ah! I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. I'm gonna try something. Light this. Yes, 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 yes. Come down here. All right. What if... We desync that skeleton. Mm. Didn't we try this, like, another time and it was a bad idea? Seems like an okay idea so far. Now they're both out of sync. Coco, I love you, but you're kind of causing some problems, too. They're both out of sync now. How do I fix that? The bottom one's no longer out of- yes, he is. able to achieve the formation I'm trying to get here. That being said, we might be on to something. Just need a moment. Let's turn this one off. One of them's on white. That's really good. I'll probably be able to eliminate it. Alright, let's face it head on. One, two... Pauzies, there we go. Now we're talking. Whew. All right, that was a bit tricky, but I got it. Now we can fully light the room. Super shiny. Bro, Pauzies. Anyways, let's get out of here. Next room. 
You saw it, right? Mm-hmm. At the joints of those skeletons, there's a strange goo. And it's just that goo puppeteering the bones around. Wait, a goo? Just like the skeleton monsters in the Fallen Forest, these are all ordinary bones being parasitized by other creatures. Really resurrected dead, they are not. This place increasingly defies scientific explanation. But at the same time, it is also so baffling... But at the same time, it is also so bafflingly scientific. Huh. I, if you need to, you can use me as your shield. Oh, so now he's mentioning this. I don't want to see you get hurt. The big backpack I carry can withstand monster attacks from me, rest assured. I can block one monster behind us and let you keep some distance from it. Hope this can help you, I.E. I actually think it hurts, honestly. You were ruining the positionings of some of them. Alright. Well, we're not leaving without first activating the lantern. In fact, I think we have to activate both. See, the previous room, we actually had the option to run away. This room, we kind of don't. We do, but we don't. We have to activate both lanterns to get out. That makes it pretty hard to run away. Uh, I guess I could just activate this. This seems fairly symmetrical, so I don't think it matters which one I do first. Right now, I.E., don't attack the monster next to you yet. Let me take your place. Why, though? This is like a great time to attack it. I'll block it for you. Okay. I'm not really sure that was a good move, but whatever you say. Now I'm out of sync with the other ones. They're all on dark tiles. That's kind of bad. Am I dead? I might be dead here. Every single one of those skeletons is in a bad position for me. Keep this lantern off for now. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Right is death, down is death, left is death, up is death. Every single direction is death. Oh. I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna figure this out. I think you're onto something here. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got this. If I kill two, I stay in sync. So, like, what if I... If I go down, they'll be right next to me, but then if I kill one, the other will kill me. If I kill, there'll be no way I can finish off the other guy. Now we just traded. There we go! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, I got it, I got it! Bro, pauses. Yeesh. Okay, it's Coco Tech. It's all about the Coco Tech. It's a bit tricky, but yeah, you have to figure out how to use Coco to like make it work. Until you really understand him, which I still don't. He works against you. <laughs> he makes it harder. But these puzzles are clearly designed with Coco in mind. You're supposed to kind of try to stack the enemies via Coco, and then uh, whittle them down after that. That's the goal. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky, but we got it. All right, no secrets, let's go. Tree spirit, you really going to be okay? Don't underestimate me so, I still have the courage to face monsters directly. Absolutely don't force yourself. If I don't impede you, I'm already happy. Whoa, they're in minecarts now? Even though the spirits of the trapped miners are already dead, they remain still carry out the work they did in their lifetimes too. I.e., you need to be careful, don't get too close to those tracks, the minecart will only move on the tracks. Oh! What? What the heck do I do? Okay. Ah. Uh... Oh! I got him to move all the way up here. Ah, so they still- they still obey standard movement mechanics. Could I kill them if I attack here? Oh yeah, you can still kill them. Their movement's just a little weird. You gotta get used to it. I see. Hmm. How do I get you spaced the way I want you? I done goofed. I done goofed. I done goofed. Don't hurt him! Well, Coco kind of carried me there. <laughs> I eat everything okay? Almost got beaten down. Thank you for the effort to save me as long as you're fine. Nah, people are gonna watch this video. They're gonna want to know how to beat this for themselves. I have to do it legitimately. Without the good luck roll. Without the mysterious stranger saving my life. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. But, like, I gotta, I gotta show people how to do it the actual way. This one's easy. 
try to block the other skeleton behind the minecart. I really think I gotta limit his movement somehow. Right, right, left, 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 left. Up, up. Wait, he's right. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good job. I, I didn't see it. I did not see it. I, it. Usually when people like tell me like what what it is, I get like an aha moment. I did not get an aha moment there like at all. There was no aha. <laughs> I still don't see it. <laughs> All right. Repeatedly switching between light and dark like this is actually bad for your eyesight. But we are on a dangerous adventure. We better consider our survival first and then our eyesight. Okay. I wasn't scolding you. What's with this painting on the wall? It's interesting. There are strange scribbles on the stone wall. Who would have left these scribbles? I.e. these aren't scribbles. These are actually called prehistoric cave paintings. Our ancestors, the Arctic Wolves, after the decline of the ancient civilization, relying on the talents trained in the Arctic region, stubbornly survived the Great Extinction. The Great Extinction. The Arctic Wolf is also a social animal and quickly developed settlements. So maybe this isn't exactly, it's not like changed, caused the Earth to be populated with the, with the, because, I mean, we're not goos, like we're actual like wolves. I think what happened is humanity got wiped out and then I guess just other creatures ended up evolving over time. So we're looking at the evolution of the Arctic Wolf. They ended up becoming intelligent, sentient. They survived the Great Extinction. What was the Great Extinction? We fought in battle with all kinds of even stronger animals. And finally, against all odds, we became top of the food chain. After establishing themselves, our ancestors then, relying on the legacy of the ancient civilization, developed rapidly. Hmm. And then, time was up, a thousand-year dynasty overthrown in a day. No one could have imagined this would happen. I guess he's referring to the mutation. The beast appearing and destroying the capital and the wolf empire. The picture on this shows the ancestors fighting with tigers, right? I have beaten some tiger ones before. Ah! Col uh, the Colipop guy or whatever? I forgot his name. Kelipot, right? The I think he's referencing Kelipot that I beat. What? Really? In a dream. Oh, <laughs> hey, it still counts. It counts. Don't you look at me like that. It absolutely counts, Coco. I believe that you could also do it in reality. I, it might as well have been reality. It was just as tough. Well, thanks, Coco. See, at, at least Coco believes in me. Oh, I didn't mean to turn that off. Kelepot, yeah, yeah, yeah. His theme song is actually probably my favorite soundtrack in the game, by the way. I like that soundtrack a lot. Careful where you step. Don't get tripped up. I can take care of myself too. Don't treat me like a child. I'm an adult. Almost soon. Don't always act like a- Wait. He's not an adult? Wait, okay. This is a trans- I'm, And I'm an adult almost soon. So wait, he's not an adult then, right? Um... Well then. Then who has always been whining about fear of the dark? I you are awful. What's that? Ah, it's the stuff! The stuff got into the bones and acted as muscles! Make them start moving around, so that's the goo! Those skeleton monsters, they all had this goo on them! Are you saying that those skeletons are made of this stuff? So you're this guy who gave me such a hard time on the way? Careful, that goo can resurrect the skeletons! Oh my gosh, it's surrounded by bones. We gotta kill that thing fast. It makes the transfer goo noise! Well, we're in position. I can... No, I can't. There's a stone right there. <laughs> Am I in position for this one? No. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, get that goo! It doesn't seem to move very much, at least. Okay. Finished! This should keep the numbers of the skeleton monsters down effectively. The victims can rest in peace, too. What even was that sticky thing? This thing seems to have some relation with crystals, and it looks like those goo creatures at the Tower of Origin. I'm telling you, this Tower of Origin has something to do with changed. The Infector from Dead Space. 
Okay, we still have a bit of a skeleton problem. Is there really anything I can do about it? Why did I do that? I'm dead. Honestly, I think I was dead anyway. Might as well read this. The traitors of the White Wolf Kingdom were slain here. May your souls never find peace. What is the meaning of this monument? Traitors? It may be related to the rebellion of the White Wolf Kingdom long ago, but I was not yet born at that time, so I'm not sure. I should have paid attention to history class. Yeah, I, I remember the Graveyard Keeper was saying that there was a revolt, and then the Empire needed new soldiers, so she didn't need permission from her parents to join the army, because the king was, like, desperate to have more troops. I don't think I can get rid of the skeleton, Wigglies. That kind of sucks. This is a great gold mine and not a great crystal mine, right? Why haven't I seen anything at all related to gold? These sharp crystals almost fill up the entire cave. After the gold and coal mines were completely excavated, the miners found these crystals deep in the mine tunnel. These crystals grow from deep below and spread all the way here. No one knows what these crystals are, but all that is stuff from long ago. I remember these crystals are supposed to be transparent. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> hmm. I still don't understand this slime's movement, to be honest. The flowers are so fragrant. You've only seen this variety of flowers at funerals. Would someone have once come here to mourn? Couldn't be. I, I still don't understand how the slime moves. Has anybody figured it out? Does anybody understand the slime? No, it seems like he's just programmed to run away from me, dude. I think we have to leave. I don't think we have a choice. Easy peasy. Let's just go. Alright, well, let's hope the tree spirit doesn't die to, like, just these skeletons. <laughs> he should be fine. Finished! This should keep the number of the skeleton monsters down effectively, and the victims can rest in peace, too. But what even was that sticky thing? This thing seems to have some relation with crystals, and it looks like those goo creatures in the Tower of Origin. So it seems like the goos from Change not only can transfer living creatures, but also dead ones. Maybe we'll see Poro. If we walk a little more, we can get to the shaft. That's a shortcut to the city for the miners of the mine. There's a transport at the shaft's bottom leading... There's a transport at the shaft's bottom leading directly into the capital's interior, letting us bypass crossing the moat. That's it, right, Ai? You sure are quick on the uptake. The moat won't have any boats on it anymore. If we want to go to the capital on foot, then we have to go there from down in the shaft. Under the condition that the shaft wasn't buried by earthquakes, that is. Just like what I said before, I never thought I would make it this far, so I never considered this. But you still accompanied me all the way here. That's true. I wonder why. What sustained me walking forward so far seeking death? Mushrooms? Those obelisks actually even reach into here. It is said that even in the deepest parts of the mine, these obelisks exist. Where do these obelisks lead in the end? I think this place itself is even weirder than the obelisks. Yes, the growth of the vegetation ahead suddenly increases, and even all these crystals emit a strange light. And this place looks actually vibrant with life. There is nobody who can escape from the mine alive. That must be because there is some kind of danger in the mine. These abnormalities may forebode something. I have a feeling that we are about to come into contact with something crucial. So, boss fight coming? Follow me closely. Mm-hmm. Is there actually anything dangerous in this room? Okay. There's small slimes, mushrooms. Step on everything. Everything! Oh, I see a thingy. The catapult device spare part of its counters full. Then put this extra one aside. The more of these, the better. If we had some basic tools, I could make some of these spare parts for you too. Your craftsmanship is outstanding. Thank you for the praise. Just a pity I really don't have the tools right now. Ah, so maybe that's the excuse why we didn't stop and let Coco, like, use his tech expertise to build some stuff. He doesn't have the tools. All right, let's go. Let's see what this boss is. Oh my god. This place just looks like a mini forest. But at least there isn't any danger, and it's not pitch black either. That's a good thing. I hate the darkness. Although these plants and animals seem to be full of life, they actually all grew up with some kind of distorted appearance. Wait, what do you mean? The lichen grew long and twisted stems and leaves. Ordinary glowing mushrooms have become abnormally huge. 
Even insects are as big as a palm. Yeah, but we see this crazy stuff on the outside too, right? This is too unnatural. These things absolutely didn't grow up naturally like this, Ai. There must be something affecting the growth. I mean, it's the mutation, right? Ai, what will be ahead? Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> Ai, look at this. The obelisks. The obelisks are oozing liquid. Wait, what? Those things are supposed to be practically indestructible. How did they break open? I look at this obelisk. The obelisks are oozing liquid. I've never seen a faintly glowing liquid like this. Is this stuff what's inside the obelisks? My instincts tell me that here is the culprit of everything. That it's just this liquid that affects the growth of plants and animals. Wait, everything? You mean this is what's causing everything to get mutated? It's not the bee. Remember, remember that Ed was speculating at the end of the Fallen Forest section that what if the beast isn't actually what's responsible for the mutation, but rather just a byproduct of it? Maybe it's actually this ooze from the obelisk. That's what's causing the mutation. And what you see here is just an example of what's been happening on the outside. It's all this goop from the obelisks that's been mutating things. I think that's what's happening. Want to go over and take a look, Ai? Yeah, just be careful. I see some hostile mushrooms there. Don't get too close now. Coco, look at this. Those plants that are contaminated with the liquid are abnormally lush. And the closer the plants are, the more severe the mutation is. I bet all of this is the fault of this stuff. Does this liquid just make plants become strange and nothing else? Why would the obelisks ooze such a liquid? Hmm. I think there's more to this. Look at this mushroom. <laughs> it grew a mouth? This mushroom is transforming into one of the mushroom monsters from the fallen forest, but why? I kind of like this picture. This is a cute picture. This must be another effect of this glowing liquid, right? After the original mushroom in this cave was exposed to liquid, it gradually turned into the monsters we saw before. I hear you saying that the mushrooms, the mushroom monsters of the fallen forest were born here? I think there's only this one possibility at the moment. It's this very liquid causing organisms to mutate. Yeah, but these obelisks are everywhere. We don't know where all the leakages are, but we have seen a lot of these obelisks. We just see the leak here for the first time. This is the birthplace of the monsters. So is the mine, and that's probably why nobody has survived in the mine, because I guess this is where they would be the most concentrated? It doesn't seem like it, though. We haven't seen that many monsters. This huge insect nest must have been affected, too. Lichens, mushrooms, and even insects. This liquid has completely changed the original characteristics of these things. Monsters really are born this way, and it's because of a mysterious glowing liquid in the ancient civilization's obelisks. These insects will all later become insect-shaped monsters, hmm? Can we, like, stop this before it gets worse, somehow? And it was also these exact monsters that destroyed your village. These crystals didn't originally look like this, either. So what did they look like? I remember that those mine crystals are supposed to be transparent. Ah, yeah, he was saying earlier in the mine they're supposed to be transparent, and these aren't. You can't see through them. Could it be that this liquid also has effect on inorganic matter? I don't get it. These obelisks have been around for so long. Why would something like this happen now? Why would obelisks that have gone through aeons without being damaged suddenly ooze liquid? Do you still remember what happened at the very beginning? You know, I bet it has something to do with what they did at the Capitol, because remember, the technician said he knew the problem must have originated there. Maybe they got a little greedy in studying this obelisk technology and they ruptured it. But anyways, I guess we're about to get this question answered. Do you still remember what happened at the very beginning? After the beast appeared, these obelisks had a reaction. Oh? People have witnessed the obelisks emitting light and heat during the day. Yes, this also lines up with the Master's research reports. This all happened after the appearance of the beast. And that should be when things started happening, hmm? The beast appeared and then activated these obelisks. The activated obelisks oozed out this liquid. Affected by this, mutated monster plants and animals were born. So the beast activated the obelisks? Those monsters soon left this mine and then started multiplying wildly in the outside world. In this way, everything at all would be explained coherently. Doesn't this mean that there is a connection between the beast and the ancient civilization? What actually is the beast? Ooh. Yo, what if the beast is Poro? Oh, no, no, it's probably not Poro. Wait, what if it's the goo monster? Remember the goo monster that, like, wrecked all the riot guards? I don't know. Pro probably not. Probably not, but I don't know. It's interesting. How could I know something like this? That is out of scope for what we need to understand. Let's better get out of here, first of all. 
Okay, I. So we need to get to the mine shaft. This mutant insect monster egg has already successfully hatched. If this is the egg of a queen, then I am afraid. This you needn't worry about anymore. Oh yeah, I already killed the queen. Because I took it out. Amazing, I.E. Eh, hold on, when was that? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. The syntax is very similar to bees, but the natures of the two are completely different. This bug only builds nests in caves. Moreover, it has a strong tendency to be drawn towards light. These can kidnap other insects, taking them back into their lairs, then seal the victims inside eggs. Wait, which bug are we talking about that does this? I thought this was the earthworms. A few days later, the victims will break out of the cocoon, but already be changed into servants to the lair. Allegedly, they could also bite onto the bodies of other organisms to become a parasitic organ on the other organism's body. Ugh. Just like those tongue-eating lice. What? Even more disgusting than that. Tongue-eating lice? There's lice that eats tongues? Yeah, it's gross. Some kind of bug here captures you, puts you in an egg, and turns you into, like, an obedient insect of its own kind. And then you could, like, bite other, like, people to infect them so they become insects, too. Really gross. <laughs> Already shriveled up dead insect eggs. If you ask me, that's a good thing. I agree. I do not want to go anywhere near that liquid. In the obelisk, there is almost no glowing liquid left now. Looks like the vast majority has already been absorbed. Oof. Alright, I see those, like, bitey, bitey mushrooms there. Be careful. This room might not be safe. This mushroom monster isn't mature yet. Its lower half is still connected to the ground. Can we just kill it before it gets out? No, I guess not. You're gonna leave it alone, huh? Crystals. I can't seem to get in there. I think that's everything. Let's just go. You don't feel any discomfort, right? This liquid seems to only take effect on contact. Reporting negative. Don't you ever accidentally get a stain of that liquid on you? Can you say for sure that you don't have any on your souls either? Reporting also negative on the souls. I'd be more worried about you, i.e. you're barefoot. The big guy still hasn't caught up with us. Hope I won't get any of this stuff on it. Yo, maybe we should wait on him. I.e. how much further until we reach the shaft? I don't know. Apologies. I really think we should wait on him, dude. I'm a little bit worried now. That actually scares me. What if he gets the goo on him? What if he becomes the boss? Oh, no, 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 no. We should wait. We should wait. This is... We have to warn him about this. It's okay. You really should wait, dude. The floor ahead is collapsed. Must have been caused by earthquakes, hmm? Watch your step a little. These plants are gradually looking more normal. It seems that we have stepped out of the liquid's range of influence. Even the crystals are becoming transparent in appearance, like I imagined. Oh, yeah! Wait, I recognize those dark crystals. I mean, it may be a coincidence, but those are from the dark latex ne nests and changed. The elevation here is higher than just back there, so the liquid can't flow into this place. Finally, we can breathe a little sigh of relief. But what is that liquid, actually? We don't have any way of knowing anymore now, do we? I would recommend taking a sample to study it, but... A bit too risky. <laughs> It's goo? The liquid is goo? It might be. I def- Never. Ever. Get curious to look at the bottom of the abyss. Wait, why? I speak from experience. What? What do you mean by that? Why should nobody get curious to look down? And what do you mean you speak from experience? He makes it sound like you're gonna get like hypnoed and like sucked down in there as if there's some kind of like evil at the bottom. Let's not worry about it. But I'm curious now. I have to know. Also, yeah, there's no music. Uh oh, what's going on? What's happening? Why are you uncomfortable? You looked down, didn't you? Oh. Seems you weren't just afraid that our. Oh, you mean just to trigger fear of heights. Ah. Uh, you also have a fear of heights. Aw, I was already reluctant to be on the hot air balloon back then. Hold my arm tight. You know, I used to think this was kind of, like, romantic, but I, I, I literally... Why, why didn't they just make him an adult, man? <laughs> I really feel like this would have been better if Coco was actually an adult. I can't, I can't enjoy the wholesome moments the same way. I have to look at this more... I guess it's just more like he's helping some kid. I don't know. Dude, if, if this guy was a kid, I don't really think I would have told him to join my journey, to be honest. I probably would have told him to leave. Well, realistically speaking, I guess for the game, I would still say, say stay with me, because it's obvious that's what you're supposed to do. Mm. The, the, the Abyss will stare back at you. He's more of a son than a lover, I guess. 
I'm a bit uncomfortable by the fact that we haven't found a secret yet. There's only this narrow path ahead left that hasn't collapsed. I just hope this path won't collapse in the middle of us crossing it. The bottom of the collapsed part looks to be very deep down. There are sharp stalagmites everywhere down there. If we fall, we are done for. And it's frighteningly deep. This is the very first time I feel this tiny. I didn't even look at what's down there. It will definitely be something fearsome anyway. So as the saying goes, if you don't know, you don't fear. Haha, <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Is that how the saying originally goes? No. Whoa, what is this? Aye, another enemy appeared ahead. Wait, why are we... What is this camera angle? I can't go around enemies in here. The ground here is too narrow. There's no room for me to dodge at all. I can only prepare myself well to go head to head with them. Aye, what are you planning to do? The monsters will definitely leave themselves open after attacking. I will then seize that chance and take them out directly. I'll do my best to cover you. Hmm. How's this gonna work? Oh. I get it, I get it. Wait for him to swing. He's gonna lunge forward, so make some space. Go! Ah, okay. Simple enough. Watch out. I didn't even realize they were attacking me with pickaxes. Whoa, that was close. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oof, you gotta time it pretty well there. At least for the second one. Got him. Whew. Spacing is a bit tight. Lunge, lunge, come on. Got him. A gun would be nice. Yeah, oh my goodness. I just, yeah, a gun would be perfect for this part. They're all in a line. Coco, just shoot. You should be in the front just shooting with your gun. Beast here? <gasps> that looks dangerous. Is that a knightly armor? Like the one I saw before. That armor looks impervious. We would have a hard time hurting it. Aye, we have to think of another way. Pull out your gun! It's such a narrow place, I can't easily push it off again. Yo, it's just like that knight we beat before. Where we got the metal, the second secret boss. Do you think your rifle can penetrate that armor? Apologies, I don't think so. That is armor made of steel. Bullets made of lead can't puncture it. Wait, we're in trouble. What do we do, run? Why would there be a White Wolf Kingdom Knight here? Well, maybe it was part of the, the ones that betrayed the kingdom, right? And got executed? Didn't they all die in the Fallen Forest? Why would they have died in the mine too? Well, well, we, read the, we read the tombstone thing. There was like a riot or something. There was once a revolt. A revolt, that's the word I was looking for. A revolt in the White Wolf Kingdom. Rumors say some rebels were gathered somewhere and all executed. Right, we, we saw the gravestone. We know this. It seems that this right here is the place where they fell. This really isn't the time. But you really do know everything. Ma, many thanks for the praise. How are we going to fight this thing? It's going to launch an attack. I said before that I will protect you. Just come on. The Knight of Remains. How do we fight this? What is it now? I can't focus like this. Could it be an earthquake? No, wait. Something's off with the source of the quake. Huh? Knock him off. Knock him off. Wait, what is that? What is that? It's a giant. What? Is that a machine? Coco, Barrett? Don't you make a single sound. <laughs> okay. We can't let that guy see us, dude, or we're dead. <gasps> Coco, don't yell. <laughs> what the heck is that thing, dude? What a scary picture. Even the font has changed to indicate that, like, Ed is, like, whispering or just, just really stressed right now. Goodness. I wasn't going to shout. I'm not a little girl either. But I.E., what do we do now? I have no idea. We have to... I mean, this is our only cover. I guess we just wait? It hasn't discovered us yet. Coco, keep your composure. My legs are a bit weak, but I'm still fine. This small wall can cover us. Gotta be careful not to be seen by it. If we show just a little bit of us, then we will definitely be discovered. Taking advantage of the interval when its eyes are closed. Oh, we gotta wait for it to blink and then we move. We look for a chance to escape as fast as we can. Stay close. Go. 
Go, 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 go. Such a terrifying creature. Could only be the beast. Wait, that's the beast? So that's why it says beast here on the wall. That's the beast? I think so too. These remains and the message on the wall. No one can escape from here. And it must be because of it. Coco. You need to have courage. You're going to pinch off my arm. Uh-oh. <laughs> eh, what? Apologies. All this is too much for him. I can feel that he's about to collapse. I will escort you out of here safely. Coco, have courage. This guy is just a slightly bigger stature. That's all. Yeah, just slightly bigger. Just a little bit. <laughs> of all those monsters we encountered on the journey, any could easily finish us off. Just having a larger body size doesn't make a difference. We must have a possibility of surviving. <laughs> Everything one-shots me anyway, so who cares that this guy also one-shots me? So what if he's bigger? <laughs> he kills me in one hit just like everything else. <laughs> I love Ed's logic. Promise we will get out of here alive and together. Quiet down a bit. Okay. Oh, jeez. Because that guy is staring, the enemies become even trickier. Seize opportunities, I. Please stay behind the small walls as much as possible. If you want, we can turn back. I don't even know if there isn't just a dead end ahead. That way, all of our achievements before would have been for nothing at all. If we turn back now, we still wouldn't make it back to town. We're dead either way, so I choose to fight with all I have. Hearing you speak like that gives me peace of mind. Yo, I really, really wish... Does he see him? Does he see the skeleton? Kill the skeleton! Kill it! He doesn't care?! I thought I timed that well. But anyways, why don't you pull out your gun here, dude? Yeah, I get it. The beast will hear it, but he won't see us. He'll probably think the skeletons did it. <sighs> this is scary, dude. <laughs> you can't do that. It literally doesn't let you attack him. I think you have to attack after, like, one swing. Hmm... Why can't I move? Oh! That's why. All right. Ah, uh, well, okay. <laughs> Ow. I feel like I've lost the ability to attack or something. Am I doing something wrong? Either you have to attack within a very specific, like, time frame of some kind. Oh, you can, you can only hit him after his first swing. You can't hit him after the second swing. You can't hit him out of the blue. You can only hit him after his very first swing. That's it. Anything else is not a, is not actually an opening. You have to hit him after he swings once and only when he swings once. That's the key. Okay, that's kind of weird, but okay. Shoot, this is tiny, dude. Got him. Wow. That was kind of lucky, so let's really try to <laughs> secure this victory. Wait for a fresh opening. I didn't expect the beast to be like a humanoid titan thing. What what am I looking at here? What is this? Fall back. This guy looks tough to handle. You wait here for me to deal with it. Okay. Uh Whoa! Okay. So he just teleport lunges into you. That's scary. Alright, I got him, I got him. Uh, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Uh, we're out in the open too. Why did it suddenly open its eyes? Uh oh, <laughs> this is bad. Hi. Ah, oh, he's gonna strike down again. Quick dodge. Been found. Hurry and get out of its sight. Aye, quick, quick, come over. It's too late now. What's the plan then? Hurry, look over here, you dang thing. Haven't you destroyed a country? Hurry up and move it over. Hammer me to bits. What are you doing? He's baiting him. Right now, it still hasn't seen you. Hurry, use this moment and run for your life. But Aye, you promised me. Don't get me, I can do it and stuff. Don't worry about someone who's been seeking death from the start like me. Having been able to walk this path alongside you really made me feel happy. 
Even though I only met you yesterday afternoon, you really made me feel something. I never felt friendship. I love how the giant is just politely waiting for Ed to give his, like, anime monologue here. <laughs> I had never felt friendship. I've always been on my own before. Nobody has ever valued me before. And nobody was willing to follow me, let alone listen to me complaining. Nobody was ever willing to help me. That is what I should do. I found a sense of significance with you. Maybe I've regained some confidence and love. You are really such an endearing little guy, and I'm not willing to watch a friend die. That is why I've accompanied you in such a long way. I want you to survive! Coco, now go! Aie. Aie, please do take care. He's actually gonna leave. I didn't think he would do it. He actually left just like that. Oh, even Ed didn't think he was going to do it. Really not what I expected. I thought he would say a little more. Fine by me too. Hurry and get out of here. I think I was indeed a little too stern just now. Such a patient giant, you know? It's like, don't worry, I'll just let you have your whole conversation before I squish you to a pulp. <laughs> I had agreed to never yell like that again before. Hope that kid won't think I'm too stern. Then, this is the end of my silent adventure, huh? Although I only came here to seek death, I still shrink back a little in the face of death. Dying at the hands of the beast doesn't feel so bad. I just hope that my dead body won't be too unsightly. Becoming a pancake in a suit is just hilarious. Will Coco find my autobiography later? I hope Coco will treat my works well. I'm already satisfied enough with my silent life. I'm ready to calmly face my destined fate. Hey! I must have really tested your patience, making you wait for so long. <laughs> Raising your fist for so long must be tiring. Just come on! Wait, I'm actually- wait, were you gonna try to fight it? The beast. That's a lot of life. Oh! <laughs> you foolish little wolf! Didn't you go away? Why'd you have to come back? If I had wasted time discussing with you whether to stay or go, then I would have been a foolish wolf. I decide to pretend to leave, prepare the ammunition, and take aim. That this is what I should do. Coco am no... Uh, I, Coco, am no coward who simply runs away, except when it comes to heights and fear of the dark. <laughs> but this doesn't change the situation at all. Don't die together with me, you foolish wolf. I, I've said it before, we must keep hope in our hearts. Hope isn't of any use. We need a miracle. Then we will just create a miracle. What can we do with this boulder, man? It's got to have some significance. I, if you have enough trust in me, then push that boulder over there down. You have to hurry. What do you take me for? I'm just a novelist. I'm not a strongman. That guy's arm is moving towards Coco. Don't worry about me. If you trust me, just hurry and push that boulder. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go, go, go. Push that rock down. Whoa. All right. What are we waiting for? Push it. Of course, I'm still as willing to trust you as ever. But first of all, can you stop crying? <laughs> you crying and firing at the same time looks super weird. <laughs> pew pew pew! <laughs> pew pew pew! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I wish you could shoot that fast earlier. Just come on! Come on, push it! Move! It! There we go. Was that the right way? I think that was the wrong way. I think we pushed the boulder to the wrong side. Wait, is that- is that the beast's foot? Oh! <laughs> this is my chance! So that was your plan. Squish his foot with the ball. What are you shooting at? Yeah, that's- <laughs> I wasn't even reading that. I was- that was my exact question. All the bullets missed the mark. I already hit the target. All of them hit. Are you trying to knock a stalactite down on him or something? Look at the top of a stalactite. Yeah, pro pause. I figured it out. Although I believe stalactite is for the ceiling and stalagmite is for the floor. But whatever, I get you. Topmost stalactite. Dude, are we about to kill the beast? This is a demo. What is a demo anymore? This, this is the full game. Did we just kill the beast?
Okay. The beast... Oh, ran away. We didn't kill it. We just scared it away. My calculation was correct. That huge boulder landed precisely right there, and we created a miracle. You really are amazing, Ai. You predicted that the huge boulder would crush its foot, and you even predicted the stalagmite would strike us? Stalactite. Or strike it. No, actually, I wasn't sure if I could accurately shoot down that stalactite, but if I were to fail, the beast would crush me, which would then also buy you some time to escape. Either way, we succeeded. We have beaten back the beast and returned to the depths of the cave. We survived and are safe now, Ai. <laughs> foolish little wolf! Are you a foolish little wolf? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny picture. You, um, I don't want you, 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 you derp. <laughs> I was almost sacrificed in vain. What if you had failed? We both would have died here. Wah! Come on, show some gratitude. He saved your life. I'm fuming. <laughs> I know I did bad. I know I did bad. <laughs> But it is also because of this that both of us survived. Yes, that's right. Aw, hug time. Thank you, Coco. No worries, Ai. <laughs> Thank you for experiencing and playing this game. My apologies, your adventure has to end for now. This game is currently in development and has been reworked multiple times. The content you already experienced may also be reorganized in the future. Thank you very much for your support. As for the rest of the story, let's better leave the rest of it to be told in the future. If you still have a strong thirst for more of this game, you can attempt the following challenges to unlock hidden content. What? More secrets? In the forest area, do not step on any flowers. I did that. In the mushroom area, eliminate all mushrooms. I did that. When going to sleep, do not press any button. I did not do that. I did not do that. Okay. I guess I have to go back then. Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? When going to sleep, do not press any button. Please keep a cheerful mood and search for the numerous secrets hidden in the game. Cheerful mood! I'm cheerful! I'm cheerful about having to go back and do it over again. Don't worry. I'm very cheerful. Ah, ah, I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> this game is pure fiction. This version of it is only a demo experience version. It does not represent the content or quality of the finished game. Right. I will say, though, there were, like, almost no bugs. The only bug I ran into was um, when I was, like, customizing the, the furry in Ed's flashback. If I did it too fast, like, the eyes bugged. But other than that, it, it, this game hasn't been buggy. At oh, and there was that one bee that got stuck in the top left. I guess two bugs, but they were very minor and very easy to get around. It didn't really cause much issue. So I would say the game's already running pretty smoothly as it is. But um, yeah, it is still worth mentioning. This is a demo. This does not represent the final quality of the game. So they'll be improving on it more for the final release, of course. If you like this game, you can add my game to Steam wishlist. I already did. Um, yeah, I, 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 I own both of these games and... Yeah, so there's also changed. I bought changed. I own I own changed. I own special edition. I'm a patron of Dragon Snow top tier. Like I'm I'm fully supporting. You could support me on these sites. Get the latest news. Yep, Twitter, Patreon. Yep, yep. I, I got you there. I don't know what the heck Aftion, Space Billy Billy or Wybo is. That I don't know what those are. But the other ones, yes, I'm supporting you there. So see you next time. If you still wish to follow the story, yes, I do. I do wish to follow the story. So it actually turns out that I did not miss anything. The no pressing buttons when going to sleep is what I ended up doing in the first place. That's how you see Ed's backstory. Subscribe if you enjoyed the series and check out the free silence demo for yourself on Steam.